Hello, welcome back to shooting on the Circle M Ranch. I'm gonna do a little short video. I went and bought me a new gun. I have shot it quite a bit. This is the Ruger Mini 14 in the 5.56 NATO barrel. I really like this gun. I had to uh, had to find something. Our ammo crunch has got me in a bad bind on 3030s. I shoot 3030s here on the ranch all the time. I've had to put them up and save my ammo because it costs too much. I've seen gun broker have them for 245 a box. That's just too much for an old country boy like me. So I went and bought this Ruger. It's got a whole stock on it. It's kind of a real soft rubber coating over the stock makes it easy to grip it's in chili green i really like it it's got some texture to it that way if i'm out working cattle no hands are nasty cutting hay strings it's easy to get a hold of and get a good grip i've tried two or three different optics on it and i have went to this old scope that i had in my dresser drawer this is a 1968 model, as close as I can tell. Might be different, but I think it's a 1968 because it came on a 1968 model gun that I bought. It's a Weaver, 4x32, fixed power scope. There ain't nothing fancy about it. It's just old fashioned. It's got a real nice blued finish that you don't find on very many scopes anymore. This one's made in El Paso, Texas, United States. That's what I really like about it because you have to spend a fortune to buy one that's made in the United States anymore. I, I bought the 5.56 NATO barrel because I can shoot whichever ammo I want to in it. Today I'm shooting the old steel case Tulo ammo in 223. I got a few little old targets set up down there. I'm going to plank around with it. From what I've seen on shooting this gun, it shoots very accurate for the first couple of shots, and then after that, the barrel will start to walk. It's not as accurate as a Colt M4 carbine, but it's a real fun gun to shoot. Ammo for it is still pretty plentiful. It's not too bad priced yet, yet. We're gonna turn the camera, and we're gonna do a little bit of shooting with this tonight. Get my air protection on. Turn the camera. I've got you on the new camera mount that I made. Let's see if I can get y'all lined up with my targets down there. Hopefully that's got it. I've got Got three old cans set up down there, about 25 yards, and an old license plate that's washed up in the creek. Now, this right here is something I really love about this gun, and that's the sound. Listen to the sound. Yeah. Let's see if we can pop a few of them cans up. Blew my table apart. Got a little high. There we go. A little high. Got one floating in the creek. Yeah, it's doing pretty good on shooting moving targets.
See if we can pop another can into the creek and have another bogan target. I did not see where that can went to. It's just old license plate. We got the barrel warmed up. Let's see how bad this bullet's walking around inside here. I'm gonna shoot for the zero. That's at about 10 yards. Looks like it's shooting low, which that's pretty common, be it 10 yards. Well, it's shooting pretty much the same spot every time. Yeah, it seems to be doing pretty good right there. Not walking around as bad as I thought, but that is only 10 yards too. See how this thing cycles. Well, that's going to shoot pretty fast for you folks, but I'm out. Let's try getting another mag. There we go, folks, listen to this. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that, folks. Yeah, we're still recording. I like shooting down here at this range. Shot pretty good pattern. There's a shooting bench parked in the creek. Well, I hope y'all liked the video. I sure like the Ruger. It's got a good review from me. See you later.